Hello friends, uh, welcome to the Weekend Investing Daily Bites of 31st of May. So we are finally there, the one day before uh, the exit polls of the elections will come out. So uh, post tomorrow's uh, polling, uh, you will see that the exit poll numbers will be, there will be a mad rush at every media house to come out with exit polls. And basis that the, mon the markets will react on Monday. And the actual counting will happen on Tuesday, but a big swing possibly can happen on Monday itself, depending upon if there is consensus within exit polls done by various uh, media houses. Uh, if there is a consensus of some number, market will probably assume that to be the final result. And then uh, June 4th, of course, uh, will uh, stamp the final verdict. So, yeah, I mean, market has been nervous. but. If you see Adani stocks, they are, you know, foretelling market expectations. This is what all Adani stocks were doing today, 3 to 5, 8, 9, 10% up. This is an indication of what the market is expecting. I'm not saying what will be the outcome. The market is expecting that the current government will continue. And because Adani stocks are seen to be, uh, you know, uh, beneficiaries of uh, you know uh, of having a good relationship with the government uh, these stocks are up because a lot of business can come through uh, to these stocks so whether that is right or wrong i don't know but the point is that the market is giving you an indication what it is expecting so the expectation is set now if the expectation is not met for whatever reason there will be a big bloodbath for sure if the expectation is met you may have some, you know, bump up because feel good and, you know, next five years are then safe and uh, the long term vision of India continues without disruption. A lot of funds who are sitting out of the uh, markets waiting for this day, uh, hoping that some other government will come into place. But then when if it doesn't come, then they will also say, OK, let's invest now what to do. So there is. I feel and it is it is maybe I'm biased because I'm invested fully. Uh, I feel that continuation is, is probably going to happen and that's the expectation of the market also. But there is a set of folks who are sitting with cash bags, uh, who have sold off positions, who have taken good profit off, uh, waiting for a sharp dip in the market. Whether that will come or not is another question. I also know that many funds, overseas funds, are waiting for this June 4th confirmation before they dump new money into the market. So that flow can also come. So many uh, uh, equations are on. Let's see where the cookie crumbles. Uh, if there is any uh, hindrance to what is the ex expected market, uh, please make sure that you have bandage around because there is going to be a lot of blood if that happens. So where is Nifty headed? Very on the very short term, Nifty has been flat uh, today. Uh, you know, through 23 points up, it has been giving up some of the gains in the last two three sessions. Last two days was down. Today was totally flat. We are near short term oversold, but this does not matter in an event like this. Uh, even if Nifty is the most oversold and the expectation is not met, you will have a 10 percent, 15 percent, 20 percent kind of a fall. So that is the kind of you know, risk that equity investing in the short term will carry always, you can't help it. I mean, you can't time it so that you are always in the market when market is going up and you're not in the market when the market is going down. That can never happen. So hedge your assets, have a lot of gold in your portfolio, have non-equity things also in your portfolio and make sure that, you know, over a longer period of time, these events become, uh, while they may dent the performance in the very, very short term, but we've had 2004, we had, you know, falls in 2008, we had falls in 2015, 2018, COVID 2020. We've, we've been able to win through that, right? So why fear a fall will come and, you know, we will never be able to recover? Why have that sort of a situation in mind? Uh, benchmark uh, index besides Nifty, Nifty Next 50 index actually was showing some signs of recovery. So the, the, the fall is virtually very, very shallow. RSI also going up here in the short term. Uh, mid caps made a decent recovery. In fact, closing in the green uh, about a quarter percent. Uh, small caps also 
uh, in the green, just about flat, but at least not giving up any of the gains. There could have been a bloodbath in, in small caps if there was too much nervousness, but that is not there. Bank in, index also quite flat uh, at virtually at 1%, one point gain uh, for the day. So very, very flat doji kind of day. Doji is usually a candlestick uh, terminology where open and close are at the same point. Uh, indicating indecisiveness of the market to do anything. So, neither going up nor neither going down. But if it was coming down and then a doji comes, it means that there could be a trend change. Uh, gold also very flat. I think INR is also waiting for this outcome. And uh, you know, essentially, uh, any uh, expectation not being met will also cause INR to crack hard. So, you know, if if, if market expects gov government to continue and if the result is the other way, you can expect the INR to go bonkers, maybe 87, 89, 90, uh, a very, very short term. So that kind of move can also come, which will support uh, INR gold and give you that hedge on your equity portfolio. Although in the short term, uh, a, a, a event like that can really bleed hard. Uh, what the FIIs are doing? So FIIs, again, our last two sessions, selling, selling, selling 6,000 crores on previous session and uh, yesterday's session also 3000 crores uh, DIIs are equally matching the, the purchase so not too much impact of that but one would have wanted you know good FII flows into this event so that uh, you know you, you could get more confidence on that but that is not available right now heat maps mixed bag Adani of course stocks are all up you had uh, public sector enterprise stocks also trying to move up IT stocks were down you had uh, uh, FMCG is down, Pharma was down, and autos were kind of mixed back. Uh, banking and finance uh, moved up uh, nicely. In Nifty, next 50, you had more green. So there was more uh, optimism here. TLF, Chola Finance, Kenra Bank, Havels, Ambuja Cements, BEL, LIC, all those moving up. DMART and Trends, there was a sell-off in retail trades. Uh, PD Light, Berger Paints also cracking hard. Uh, you had uh, Zomato also going a bit soft here and REC and PFC also losing some ground. But utilities, uh, energy stocks, Tata Power, Gale, uh, Adani uh, Power are doing really, really well uh, in today's session. Uh, sectoral trends, so real estate and metals who, who have been the torch bearers for, for the last 12 months along with public sector enterprise stocks, if you see. Real estate has been 112% up, metal 65% up, PSU banks 83% up, and public sector enterprise stocks 119% up. So these four have been the sort of in the forefront. And whenever they rally turns from being soft to again going up, these four lead the rally. And that is exactly what has happened uh, today. So uh, you have 2.3% uh, on real estate and 2% on metals, 1.3% on PSU banks, and so on and so forth. Others were muted, but Notably, pharma lost 0.9% and IT lost minus 1.3%. Usually, you will see that when the market wants to get into a defensive mode, uh, money will go to consumption, pharma, IT, FMCG, but it didn't happen today. So, market is in a risk on, take risk on mode. I think uh, uh, market is sensing that things can go right here. Uh, sector spotlight, Nifty IT index has broken down out of this sort of flag-like formation. This is certainly not a great chart. I mean, we have been falling from 38,000 to 33,000 and then, a, you know, some consolidation here and further breakdown here. So this could easily go uh, retest this bottom now uh, unless we, we quickly climb back above this fall. So IT stocks, at least the large cap IT stocks are to be bought with caution only if your setup is suggesting so. Uh, metals index very nicely coming back, but uh, within the yesterday's candle, so uh, uh, not really uh, moving out. But after a run like this, you know, few days of rest is not bad. But I, overall, I think the metals are looking quite good. Uh, real estate index do, not even coming down to the support this time and just flying off just a percent or two away from all time highs. Real estate is really, really uh, doing quite well there. In other stories, uh, Adani Power is the stock of the day. Uh, it was languishing at 575 this entire 4-5 months. And then there was a slight spurt towards the beginning of April, uh, end of March and April. And then again, it went into a slumber for a month and a half. And now in the last 
10 or 15 days it is a really short up uh, going from 600 and today there was a mini flag breakout also from 700 to nearly 750 of course market is expecting uh, a lot of new uh, philip to adani power if the government continues and i think that is the reason for these uh, great moves on this stock so th this is all i have for today's daily bite thank you so much for watching uh, do uh, like and subscribe to this channel uh, please do share it with your friends and family who are interested in markets uh, if nothing else some new information may reach them thank you bye